the follicular lymphoma is the second most common lymphoma overall. It is, uh, it is the uh, most common of the indolent or lower grade or slower growing type of lymphomas. So it is a lymphoma that is typically is a chronic sort of disorder that uh, patients live with a very long time. Most patients with follicular lymphoma don't die from it, most die with it. But that said, um, there are certainly patients where it can be challenging, where they need new treatment options. And obviously there are some patients who, uh, for whom it is a life-threatening illness. So, um, so it is something that kind of goes up and down over many years for most patients. Um, and typically presents itself with swollen lymph nodes in one location or multiple locations, can present with pain or other related symptoms, can present with laboratory abnormalities. And um, you know, typically patients are treated with chemotherapy over time when they need treatment. Uh, they often, uh, tr often patients can be watched if they're not having any symptoms. Um, they can be monitored on what we term watch and wait as a program. Uh, but most people, when they get treatment, uh, get chemotherapy-based treatment, although there are a few other options. And over time, patients typically receive multiple uh, different treatment regimens. And in general, the disease can get more difficult to treat uh, as patients uh, go through a number of different lines of therapy. Most patients present with a swollen lymph node, so typically the diagnosis is made on a lymph node biopsy. Sometimes it's made from the bone marrow or uh, from the biopsy of other tumors in, in other organs of the body, but typically it's made by a biopsy. Um, the bigger challenge is that sometimes follicular lymphoma can transform or change to a more aggressive type, and so that's something that uh, is sometimes a little bit more challenging and would require a follow-up biopsy to see if the lymphoma has changed to a different pathologic type.